Love it. Um, Richard, I, I know that we're, we are running out of time somewhat, which, and I know you said at the start of this conversation, we could talk all day, but we actually don't have all day. No. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have all night. I know it's nighttime where you are. Um, couple f final last question, final two questions, Richard. Sure. What's one final tip you could give to a leader or a manager, someone who has a team who would like to, you know, do more of what you've just talked about, you know, have, have that, that great camaraderie and have the trust and respect of their team and have, have their team just love being at work. What, what final tip would you have for them? These amazing individuals that rose to those position, uh, positions, they earned it but they also can't forget where they came from. So people need me time. They need to walk away. I, I, I'm not sure of your outside activities, but I myself, I, I like working out in the gym. I wash my convertible on Sundays. We did speak about pinball marathons. And these are the sort of Richard times where I put my phone away, I can decompress. And I'm not really into Eastern meditation, but I have my other areas in which I can tap into my consciousness. And so, it will allow me to, and we mentioned this earlier about luxury of time. If people are running groups and they can think about things, they might have overextended themselves in one meeting. They might have not said enough. Or maybe what they should do once again is to allow every individual to give every single opinion out there. And collectively, through synergy, you can bring that group together. And so your ego is fine. And you don't want people to fear you and you'll get the job done and your employees have the leverage. They can always quit. So I don't think cursing, yelling, and screaming does any good, but I, I do believe that these individuals that work with you have families and children. And as long as you take that into consideration and you give them the benefit of the doubt, and I've even told agents to log off, go to the bathroom, throw some water in your face and get back on that phone. It's where somebody might need the unofficial timeout because they're having a moment. Mm. And so you, you have to do that. If you think people are robots, they will leave. And you don't need to go out drinking with them. That's their private time. And some people don't even like to drink. And don't think pizza parties solve things either. It's got to be the time that they don't expect the flowers. And sometimes okay. they even claim that the greatest gifts are not store-bought cards, but the ones that you personally write. And how, how about this? I'm not going to say, Christina, you're doing a great job. You're my favorite. High five you. Now, last Tuesday, when you got on the phone with Mrs. Jones, I listened to that 33-minute conversation. Wow. I cannot believe you confirmed her email four times. Dog was barking in the background. You put the dog away. You asked about the dog. Everyone's laughing. The client loved you. And then you're saying to yourself, my God, you actually listened to me for 33 minutes? And I'd say, Christine, of course I did. Because if you're in my shoes, you would have done the same. And so when you look at me, you go, well, you know, I'm not going anywhere. This guy's great. Forget the pizza party. This guy actually listened to me for 33 minutes and really picked apart my call. So you're, you're amazing and dear supervisors and managers. Show some authenticity. Just don't say good job champ and call them chief and ace. Really let them know. Really let them know what they did and yep. try to assist them in every way that you have to get them to different levels. And if you feel insecure that they're gonna take your job and your position, then you're not doing a good enough job. All is fair in love and war. If you earned it, somebody else could too. And so just be the best you can be and try to bring other people up because who's to say that you're not going to get promoted and then these people are going to work with you. And so um, don't be selfish. Everybody deserves their chance. And if you're number one, then you get that position. If that, and look how hard you and I work. You make it look easy, the C method. Look at this. They should only know what you're doing behind the scenes. And so I, I think if people are willing to take that sort of responsibility, and the golden ring could be theirs. Love it. Love those final words, Richard. Um, look, I really appreciate you taking the time to join us on the show. 
I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to listen back to this conversation and take notes and unpack everything that you shared because there was a lot in there. If people want to reach out to you, connect with you, or learn more about you, Richard, uh, where can they find you online? Well, they can buy a first class plane ticket and come <laughs> visit me here, which would be wonderful. I'm all over the internet with my websites. and But I also have a Facebook fan page of about 103,000 people. And so when this goes live, you're going to have a lot of new fans. And it will also Ooh. give your audience a chance to see the business process outsourcing industry in Central America. Just real quick, we're north of Panama, south of Nicaragua. We're the only democratic society in Central America. There's no standing army, Christina. So there's a 95% literacy rate. We have the best infrastructure. They claim that Costa Rica has the most neutral English accent. We're known for medical tourism and especially ecotourism. So if you like surfing, which I know Australia does, we have waterfalls and monkeys and iguanas and butterflies. And it's just a wonderful place to visit. I'm here, your friend. I got a thousand suggestions for you and your audience. And uh, Christina, I really can't thank you enough. I thoroughly enjoyed our time this evening. Oh, well, Costa Rica sounds absolutely wonderful, Richard. I it's going to have to go on my list now of places to visit. It sounds wonderful. Um, thank you so much again. It's been such a pleasure.